Oh, no, no, no. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. It's down there I somewhere. Yeah. Come down, okay. Welcome to part three. Yeah, welcome to part three, guys. That uh, belies the quality of what's just gone on the last few hours. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's one up. Do you want to explain a little bit just about? Are you sure you want me to explain this? Because it could go quite in depth. So. <laughs> I've not played much golf. Pete's been playing incredible amounts of golf. I was expecting to have lost a match by this point already. Turns out I happen to be one up in the match currently after two fantastic holes that really turned the match around for me. I'd say that was a pretty succinct summary. No, I was just trying to play f to protect my lead there, but I've seemed to have uh, gone incredibly close to the out of bounds. <laughs> Pete with driver. Good hole this. 16th par 4 up the hill, 425. Cross there. Cross kind of rough. Over this hole as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? And that is a great golf shot. Bullet. Bit of anger in that, I believe. It's a great shot. Get that shot. Thanks Good work. Well, we're going to have some swings around the house in this <laughs> match so far. Um, I'm going to take a bold prediction and say Rick is not going to be going for the green in two here. That is in some real... That's... What is it? It's not gorse. What is that? Spike. It's nasty though. They're very spiky. I don't even know if I'm actually going to get the ball out. So I'm going to take a drop. Oh, drop in. Right. Okay. Just going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's a couple of things that I would have expected you to do. I would expect you to play it because it's, you know, YouTube. Um, a match play. This is a match play YouTube match. Of course you should play it. Remember what happened when you took on a risky shot last time? Yeah, but there was calculated risk. You, this gained, is just like, you gained immortality. Stupid risk. <laughs> yeah, but this is where, where I lose immortality and also lose the ability to feel my hands feel. Right, okay, I got you. That is proper spiky. Yeah, I know, I wouldn't hit that. I don't know actually, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you're not playing that. Okay, that's two. Oh, picked his ball now as well. Okay, that's a penalty. Uh, right, so. It's a drop, so he's going to be playing three. Uh, the pin is all the way up there, so we're going to have a good... Uh, still a good 200 yards probably up there. What are you going to hit? Which is the wrong club. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I would zap it to see how far he's up there. It's going to be 200 yards. I'd say it's 200, yeah. It's up the hill as well. Wind not helping. I'll squeeze a five up there. Okay. A squeezy five. I like a squeezy five. So Rick's just working on a few uh, club face issues he's got. So he's, he's working on the uh, patented Norren. The Norren low and thrust. The Norren. No, no, that's, you've got to go more left. You've got to swing more left than that. If you're going to do it, do it properly. <laughs> this thing will stop you swinging left. I think it'll stop, stop you swinging altogether, I think. Right, I'm going to aim at the hut. I'm going to hit a low cutty one. Okay. Front of the green, it's going to then trickle up. Half ah, balloon. I'll run them. I reckon there's a child's dreams attached to that. If it stays there, I'll try and hit it. How weird is that? That's good. Cool. This is creepy. It's actually slowing down. <laughs> oh, that is creepy as hell. It's just stopped. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a new one. Right, big five pound cut. Wow, that could go on. It wasn't exactly what you planned. It's worked out perfectly though. It was going to come down, wasn't it? A one groove too low. I was going to move around nicely off that slope. Good shot though. Oh no, it's there. It's on the, it's on the road. Railway track. Oh, railway track. Right, we're not going to go get that. It feels, it feels a long time since he's done the course. 
So with this amount of adventure, normally the ones you play with good players, so they're quite boring. I feel I feel the core slog's landscape has changed since we were last out playing. There's a lot that's gone on. Yeah. So Pete with 110 yards. Not bad, 120. 120. Playing probably 130 up the hill. Yeah, I'm just gonna steeze a little wedge. This there. is a nice hole. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of of fairway runouts. Especially, yeah. But I, I get it. Yeah. I'm just not. It's not my. It's not my thing. I don't mind this one though, because it's not like I'm not hitting into like golf pushing. No, but you just have hit an incredibly straight golf shot, and now you find yourself in rough. Anyway, wedge, hard wedge up the hill. That was nice. Oh, nice face control. Good. Yeah, it looked really good that. <laughs> it looked really good. So Rick's pulled up about maybe about 25 yards short, but well, it's just straight up the green. What are you going to go in with? Just a sand wedge. A little checky one? You just have to break in your dreams on this one. Break in my dreams? I've actually yeah. gone past the hole. It's not a foregone conclusion, this. Yeah, nicely played. Just a bit beyond the pin. Nicely played, though. I don't kind of know why. That's, that's quite nice, though. It's a while since I've seen you play one of those shots and not take a big old divot. And actually hit the green. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> or thin it. <laughs> okay, so on the green, and I have got... Uh, where is it? I've got that for five. Pete's got this for three. So, the, without questioning the driving seat right now, but the way this vlog's been going... Anything. And I mean... Literally anything could happen. You are not wrong. So, after playing it actually too hard, whether it was the control out the rough that unfortunately got this ball flying a good kind of 10 yards too far, really. It's going to come back down the hill. And the hole is just there, went to the left of the screen. That got very close. That looked good. I mean, I, I mean, all the way. Yeah. Good four. Takes the win on this hole. That's all square. That's all square. I'll have a look at the run at this just in case. Just in case we have a look back at the footage and there was some infringement. I don't know. Some horrific rules infringement that we missed. <laughs> so this for a good up and down. That's all square. That's all square. 17th hole here at Northampton. It's the first par five that we've encountered. 500 yards. Pretty much straight down with some beautifully uh, positioned bunkers. One, two, three up the right, or it might just be one, maybe two big ones actually. More down the left side of the green, so it demands a slight power hit up the left or a little fady one that just kind of caresses around those bunkers. How far were they away, Pete? Uh, the first one was 245. To the carry it? Uh, to the top of it, yeah. So okay. it's going to be a good... I think those bunkers do look like they get further as you go off to the right yeah. as well. So. The more right, the more you've got to carry it. So it's if you hit it dead straight, you've got a lot more freedom. I think those guys are probably just still in range, so... We're going to cut to our commercial break from our proud sponsors at... Brilliant. So, I mean, just genius. If anyone would like to fill that space. <laughs> what an interesting way of phrasing it. That space could be yours for just as little as... Will you stop selling my space, please? <laughs> Come on, it's it. Through this. Hurry up. Okay. Since Without he's become a, a full-time yeah. player, Pete, he's gone awfully slow. <laughs> Come on, baby, give it a rip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> B. 
doom. That is the flight down this hole, thank you very much. That is a monster. I didn't actually hit that guy. I don't, that's probably only gone about two. It's probably only gone about 320. Um, I reckon that's probably only gone about 260. That was very healy, that one. I reckon you could. It's that line. And I definitely pitched past the first bunker, so if you give this a rip, I reckon you'll fly him. That's, that's the one. Now that is the ball. That should be massive. That's the one, mate. That's a cracker, that. That was a proper strike, that, wasn't it? It's was alright. Average. Okay, so we're down on the fairway. So you definitely yours better. I mean, I caught mine a fraction better. <laughs> now this isn't slow zoom, by the way. This is real time zoom action. Real time zoom action. <laughs> it's a long way down there. So how far have you got, Pete? Uh, 207 to the pit. Not that like far. A big, a big bank in front of the uh, green, though. So I need to carry it all the way. Yeah, 207. Five iron. Uh, Four iron. Four iron. Four iron. Yeah. Right. Just the pin. If it fades a bit, that's fine. Right 17th hole, just two holes to play in this epic match. Oh, that is hit nicely. And that is just a fraction oh. short. Proper pitch in that bank. It's all right though, so. I'll have a wander down, Pete. It's an acceptable yeah. miss. If you can just bring the buggy, that'd be lovely. I think I'm at. I'm at. <laughs> if you did have a camera. <laughs> but I didn't have your camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so finally we get down here. Now, you actually, you won't have seen this off camera, but Rick actually insists on hitting three practice shots uh, before all his, uh, all his shots, which is interesting. <laughs> guys, part of my contract. <laughs> just, a, just a quick note to everyone. If you aren't going to practice on the course, come on, guys, replace your divots. There's no excuse for that. It's laziness, especially around such a beautiful course. <sighs> it's one of those things that annoys me. One, six, eight, okay. Are we going in with nine? Seven. Interesting. Seven eyes. I've just got to get over that bank at the front of the green, the one I pitched into, and then he's home and dry. Oh. Oh. I mean, on the positive, he didn't take a divot. That was a truck shot. <laughs> After those practice shots as well. That's a hell of a green this. I wouldn't fancy getting to a pin back left, would you? Incredible green this. So Rick is just to the right. I mean, he's in some claggy rough there. It's going to be tricky because it's all downhill to the pin as well. And it's a runoff behind. This actually could be... Oh, he's got to come up the bank as well to begin with. This is going to be a hard shot. Yeah, it's going to stay short. That was always tricky, always hard. A lot that could have gone wrong with that. It's a tough shot, that. Over this down, and then it runs off the other side. Okay, refocused. Up and down for a par. Hit it. <gasps> Wasn't even travelling that fast. That was travelling pretty fast. I mean, if that had stayed on the green, you would have been lucky. You could take that one away. It's even travelling <laughs> that fast. Gutted. Five. Terrible five after that. Well, weird. Oh, not terrible five. <laughs> <laughs> not quite sure what to think about that five. So Pete's got an up and down for a win of the hole with only one hole left to play and I would be really disappointed in myself if that was the case. 
Terrible second shot, poor third shot, recovered it slightly with the fourth, it's a shame it didn't drop. Up and down for birdie. Grabbed on really quick. Normally a huge fan of those shots. Yeah, back left on this green would be amazing. It's just a layup in it if it's green back, if the bin's back left. left. That's disappointing. Okay, so Pete now still to win the hole with this putt. I was just thinking over that shot, I've not actually had a chip today. No, you haven't. Which is obviously not the right way to be thinking about it. But... So to win the hole and to take one shot lead going down the last, Peter Finch for birdie on the 17th. Break. Oh. That's a break here. Yeah, good five. <laughs> oh, good five. Right, uh, whole halved in very disappointing pars. That's an annoying par, yeah. Over Yours. to the 18th. 18th hole, North Hants. A match that has had twists and turns, ups and downs and a miraculous shot out of a ditch. Sides to sides. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are all square with one to play. We've not been in this situation for a long time. No. I mean, I'm overly pleased myself. I feel yeah. like, I feel like this was peeps to lose. <laughs> well, I'm looking down this last hole thinking it's mine to win, to be honest, sir. So, I just wanted three parts. Four, two, four, par four, stroke index nine. It's a pretty straight hole with bunkers right and left. It's going to have a wind off the left, that's it. Wind is off the left. Good tee shot, it's only going to be a mid to short iron left in. At the bunker on the left, just let it fade. Fade. Did it? Carried the bungalow, should be fine. It didn't just stay, did it? Just stayed where it was. The one thing that was was just a really, really great strike. There's no other, no other word for it. That was definitely my best strike of the day. So, similar plan to Rick. Aim at those two. They are our distance, by the way, guys. He's not just angry. Drawing in, as soon as I set off, I was getting a bit, oh God, he's not blocked it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, just okay. Just okay. <laughs> almost went in the bunker. I want too fast. Okay, so we get to this point. Pete has gone left, I've gone right, both in the rough. So that Pete's actual line of sight is a little bit hampered because we've got some overhanging branches. Mm. Yeah, I'm worried about this. You see me? I'm scared. <laughs> Are you going in with low wedge? Uh, yeah, wedge, just a half one. So to be fair, I think if you squeeze it, it'll yeah, probably come underneath the branches before it starts to go up. Pins at the front, very much in the middle of the green. It has clipped the branch and it's gone left. Is the distance good? The distance is incredible. The distance is superb. The distance is quite sensational. That branch really did help you. <laughs> when you strike it as purely as that, branches don't affect the ball flight. How far are we? It's the same with trees. Uh, one, two, five, but I just knew my heart was going to go close. That was the main difference. Do you want to drive over? I'll, uh... No. No? Okay. <laughs> right, Ricky boy. I'm actually not in a very good line. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> 
Time to respond. Is it some incredible recovery shot so far today? So, is this going to be the same? Did have to dig that out a bit. It's looking all right there. Up there, just on the right side of the green. Vantage Pete. All right, so one feels that Rick will probably have to hold this one. And then we, uh... I feel like the story isn't over yet. You feel like the story isn't over yet? Yeah. Dude, close the book. <laughs> There's a bit of meat left in yours. The last sentence has been written. The author has signed off. Not on my watch. Rick just wants to... I think this drops. You think it drops? Yeah. I know the temperature's dropping, the amount of time it's taking over. Yeah, I can't see how it does it. Okay. It's quite funny if you think uh, Rick's taking the mic. A few weeks ago when we played Birkdale, honestly, could not miss. But he's not played a lot of golf since then, so... I mean, two rounds, I think, since then. Probably the wee bit to begin with. Is it going to break round, break round, break round, break round? Still you. <laughs> that was looking great, like, all the way. All the way. We play Marcus Dimes, yeah. Wow, I honestly thought. Just, yeah, just obviously the hole. Oh. I really fancied that, Peter. They look great, they look really good. A whack. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> He's back to having a whack. So, to win the match, that's what you've got left. Yeah to win this incredible match down here at North Hants. Now I hit that as hard as I could so I couldn't give Pete any read at all. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> to win the match with his new putter, the one that he's not sure about just yet, the one that's still rearing its question. Oh, nice. Good birdie that in the end. Good birdie. Oh. I mean, a, look, a lucky one, but a good one. Not finished with a birdie to win in ages. Well done, mate. Right, yeah. That was a good match, actually. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was very to and fro. Right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. North Hans, thanks for having us down as well. Flight game is very strong here. Uh, it's been awesome. Really, really enjoyed the course. And just love that winning feeling. It tastes so good. So, guys. It was expected. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would have been... Well, I would have been annoyed if I'd lost, obviously, but... Actually, no, you're all right. Like, you don't play for ages and you can just play well. Your brain works in a weird well. The more the more you practice, the worse you get. <laughs> that is very I true. Don't, I don't get it. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. North House, thank you very much as well. Make sure you subscribe to Rick as well. Follows and everywhere else. And then, see you next time.